Alan Winston Fillion created a website and was selling his swatting services online to a radical leftist where they could purchase his swat for free. This is the kid. He's only 17. Unfortunately for him, he's getting charged in Florida, so he might actually get some serious time. Yeah, that's what happens when you do things uh, uh, in other states, right? Then, then you're going federal, right? You're under federal jurisdiction. Yeah. Uh, and we see from California, he was arrested and is now facing legal repercussions in Florida for his alleged involvement in a series of dangerous swatting incidents across the U.S. The Seminole County State Attorney's Office announced that Filion was extradited to Florida on January 30th. Oh, he's already been shipped out, huh? He shipped out to face charges related to a swatting call made to a mosque. Oh, you know who paid for that one, right? The people who go to synagogues. <laughs> uh, marking a significant development in a case that highlights the dangerous trend of swatting. The incident in question involves a threatening call made to Masjid al Hay Mosque in Sanford, Florida in May of 2023. Filion allegedly claimed he was armed with a gun and explosives intending to commit a mass pow pow in the name of Satan. A claim underscored by the sound of gun fire played in the background. Ooh. This guy's serious with the speakers. This hoax prompted a massive law enforcement response with approximately 30 officers dispatched to the mosque. Wow. Approximately 30 politicians, journalists, and other political figures have sw been swatted in America since November. Yeah. Filion's activities extend beyond this single incident. He is accused of targeting a wide range of institutions, including high schools, historically black colleges. Really? mosques fbi offices and even making boom threats against military bases and the pentagon oh that's probably where you got caught right there but mostly conservatives were targeted by the young criminal on uh oh 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 hour on x is posting more information on alan filion and his customer base Ooh. uh he writes one reason why victims of alan win Alan Fillion are not being contacted is because of his accomplices. They have to build a case for each person who purchased the service. They then send it to the grand jury for charging. These cases are serious, like 30 years in prison serious. Wow. They had to confiscate their devices one by one and trace their activity. Think of it like a terror network at the point. Okay, but if they use a burner laptop to go to the website to order it, then they're not going to get in trouble, right? If they use um, a, a, a Swiss Switzerland-based VPN, which is Zion is controlled, by the way, called Proton, Proton VPN, uh, they will get away with it, right? Especially if they are Z-Bears, right? Oh, look at him. I'm such a criminal. Oh my God, I have long hair. Um, Filion was raking in thousands. They knew something was going on. He probably told them he was a gamer making bank. Parents ignore their kids today and leave them to the internet to be raised. We have a generation of lunatics coming. Oh, they're already here. They're already here. They're called Swifties. <laughs> of course, this is being ignored by the mainstream media. Ah. Zero Hour also writes, I'm eighth on media covering Alan Fillion. The media is ignoring this huge story because it's not right-wing crazy enough for them. In fact, it leads right back to radical leftists who paid to have MTG, Cat Turd, and many others swatted. Wait until the ones who purchase the services get are d detained. It's going to be interesting. Oh, look at that. Look at that. I wonder if the people who, um, I wonder if it counts if they're just ordering, you know, Grubhub and dropping it off at your place, right? Yeah, that might, ooh, that's kind of swatty, right? I don't know, it's not really swatty. Uh, this is going to be one story to watch. Uh, Zero Hour also writes, people are focusing too much on the swatter. The real tell will be the people who purchase these services through his website that the FBI confiscated last week. They have the, oh, they have the Bitcoin traces now. Yeah, I don't know why people ever thought for a second that this is a private currency, okay? I knew, I had a friend who introduced me to this, uh, told me she's been buying like, substances on the internet with it and i'm like okay so you're telling me that blockchain means that every 10 minutes there's a ledger created that shows who had it and who has it now and you're telling me that this is private and not traceable it's it's an, it's an, it's literally never ending it's never ending okay 
It has every transaction all the way to the beginning of Bitcoin. Who's that's doing which is doing great by the way today. Holy crap, man. Yeah, this is going to get very interesting once they charge his accomplices who paid for the services. Alan Fillin uh was in a sense a hired hit by hundreds of people. Ooh, look at that guy. Oh, I'm so sad now, right? The good news is if he uh gets in trouble, he's identified as a whammon and won't have to change much, right? And get some tails still, or he'd be the only cack out there. Oh man, anyways. Uh, rest in peace to this guy. Wow, 17 and you're going away for decades. Uh, probably not. I'm looking at him and I look at you know Sam Bankman Fried. I'm like, they're like the same guy, you know? Just one wears glasses. So it's like, why would they get in trouble? I don't know, Sam Bankman's in trouble, right? Because they had a pretty good like money laundering operation, right? We give foreign aid to Ukraine. Ukraine buys FT FTT tokens, boosts the token price, right? And then the extra money goes out to all the Democrats and all the rhinos, right? So, um, yeah, yeah, that's why he's in jail. This guy, yeah, he, he's, he's not really uh, hurting the Democrats. He's helping them, right? So he's probably getting away scot-free. Sam Bankman's probably jealous of this guy. Oh, 